Alright, so let's talk some more about inscribed angles. So remember that an inscribed angle is any angle that has its vertex on the circle. So in this case here, here is angle B, angle A, B, C, vertex on the circle, and its sides are chords for the circle. So each of these three cases that they give you here show an inscribed angle. The rule that goes with inscribed angle is when you have an inscribed angle, the angle, this is how I like to remember it because the names always change, the angle is equal to half of the arc, okay, and which is what we have here, ABC is equal to half of the arc. Now not just any arc, but the arc that's a cre created by that angle. So see how we have our angle B and its ends come out here and it makes this arc, okay, it's half of this arc. So let's try and... So we're going to use the, the property to find each of the following. So first we're going to find the measure of angle P, S, T. So I always like to trace my angle so I know exactly what ang angle I'm looking at. So it's the angle from P to S out to T. So here's my angle. Notice we do know the arc that it creates from P to T is 150 degrees. So we just use our property. Again, our property tells us that the angle is equal to half of the arc. So our angle, PST, should be equal to one half of arc PT, which happens to be 150 degrees. So all we have to do is take 150 degrees, half of that. So dividing by two will do that for you. And we find that angle PST must be 75 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and put that in my drawing so that should I need it later, it's there. All right, next, what's the measure of angle PSB? So again, I like to trace the angle. So I'm starting at P down to S out to V. Okay, so we're talking about this angle right here. Um, the arc that's created for, by it goes from P to V, and it looks like it's 80 degrees. So again, to find angle PSV, we know it's equal to half of the arc. Angle equals half the arc. Our arc happens to be 80 degrees. So our angle PSV is half of 80, or 80 divided by 2, which is 40 degrees. Perfect. That angle is 40 degrees. Next, they want the measure of angle VST. And I'm going to change colors of ink real here, fast here. Okay, VST. So again, I like to trace my angle. So we're going from V down to S, out to T. Angle VST. What is its measure? Well, if we had started from the very beginning, we would have had to do some work. And notice angle VST is these two angles we have put together. By the angle addition postulate, we can add them to get the whole angle. Okay, so angle VST should be equal to angle PSV plus angle PST. Okay, that is 40 degrees plus 75 degrees. We do that, we get 115. So notice on that last one, we didn't look like we used our property, but had we started the problem at the very beginning and only been asked to find the measure of VST, we would have had to use the property okay, to find each of our angles and add them together. All right. Use the figure below to find each of the following. We're only asked to find one thing. <laughs> it wants us to find the measure of angle DAE. So again, I'm going to mark off where that angle is located. D down to A and out to E. Here's the arc that it creates from D to E. We want the measure of the angle. Now remember, our property again says that the measure of the angle for an inscribed angle is half of the arc that it creates. Notice the arc that it creates is 70 degrees in this case. So we're just doing half of 70, which is 35 degrees. And that's simple. We found Angle DAE is 35 degrees. Go find Daddy. <laughs>